Hey. Hey. You haven't said much since you got back home. I'll be a ball of sunshine once Damon gets a lark steak back. I promise. <laughs> you really scared me today. You wouldn't have survived if you went up against Klaus on your own. You know that, right? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Why? Because he's not worth it. All this time and energy that I've wasted hating him. <laughs> it was for nothing. It's done. It's over. We lost. I'm right back where I started. That's not true. Yeah, Klaus dragged you through hell. But you came out the other side. You beat him by being better than him. And what I lose in the process. The Kaden Klaus was easy. It allowed me to ignore everything that was happening around me. Everything I let slip away. Now I have to deal with that. Stefan. I don't know, just admit it. Admit it to me, Elaine. I know you don't owe it to me, but I just need to hear you say it. I, I can't. Because it's not true, Stefan. I never stopped loving you. I know that. I know you did. Even though I did everything possible to push you away. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I mean, this is all my fault. But, so what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you're also in love with Damon. What? No, Stefan, I was just... Hey. I love you. I will always love you. I just want you to look me in the eye and tell me that you don't feel something for him. Steak. It's right behind these books here. A bookshelf, really? At least I was trying to be clever about it. Where the hell is it? Ha. Uh, look harder, Rick. It's not here, Damon. Maybe you just forgot. You want the shelf? Put it on. No, I didn't forget it. It's, it's, I put it right here and the steak doesn't just vanish into thin air. Who else did you tell, Rick? I didn't tell anybody, Damon. I'm the only... What? Telling me that your vampire hating alter ego has a stake that could kill an entire line of vampires, possibly mine. That's exactly what I'm telling you. 